Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Turner Man back with a new review for you. Today we're just gonna take a look at the uh, Epic Moves Bo Peep action doll from Toy Story 4. Uh, both hands coming in from this side today because uh, we have to do an alternate camera setup because uh, this one is so big that it doesn't really fit into my normal Pokemon card setup, so had to figure something out. We're just gonna take a little look at this, see if it's any good, I can finally open it up. And uh, I'm really interested to see what those uh, 10 plus play pieces are. Because I don't count 10. At all. We have the comb. That's one. We have that. Whatever that's called. That's two. We have her staff. That's three. We have Bo herself. That's four. That's four. We have Giggle. That's five. And we have the get up. That's six. If they come apart, which I guess they do because we can use it as a cape. That's seven. And maybe her bow counts as one, so that's eight. But I don't count any more than that. I don't understand what the last two are. And it's ten plus. So I don't know. I have no clue. So I guess we're just going to open her up and figure it out. Let's get to it. I guess we can take a little look at the back before we, we, we open the box. Because the back also does nothing to help me figure out what the last two things are. Bow, so, sorry, bow, bow, staff, giggles, and cape. Nothing new. Bow and giggles, nothing new. Comb, nothing new. So, yeah, but it, the back doesn't really give us anything. Here's a big photo of the, of the toy saying it's possible. Includes Giggle McDimples, yeah, we saw that. You can brush her hair. And down here we have uh, a little bit of writing. It's a new chapter in the lives of Woody, Buzz Lightyear, and the Toy Story Gang. From their new kid's bunny's house to an exciting road trip, they'll encounter friends, all the new, and face all kinds of adventures along the way. As Toy Story 4, I guess. Doll cannot stand as shown. I feel bad for everyone who got this when it came out. I feel bad for the kids because they would have to wait for so long. And I feel bad for the parents or guardians or whoever the kids got to open this for them. Because, Jesus, it's so many, you know, those little ties that sort of holds it together. And then there's these tabs of plastic that sort of holds things in place. And it's just a mess. I've been spending the last 10 minutes opening all of this. And I've, and I've encountered a problem. I can't get this plastic bit off of her hair. Like, I, I can get probably get it off if I just sort of cut the plastic. But it's stuck here with these two little uh, plastic uh, things here. The same goes for on her bow here. And, you know, I've tried to use my little... Uh, Hobby knife here, but I can't really get under probably. I'm gonna try again and see if I can do it, but uh, this ain't great. Finally, we're done. We managed to get Bo Peep out of the box. It was a hassle because the things were stuck to her back, the back of her head, and I managed to get those off. Then there were two more on the bow, so I managed had to get those off, and now the bow, of course doesn't sit as well as it should. Which sucks, but it, you know, that's just how it is now. I put it on and sort of press it on and it sort of sticks on, I get not very good. It's, it's not, it's not a good system. Who cares? I just keep dropping it to the floor. I don't care. How is the, how is the toy itself? It is, Pretty good, uh, you know. It's uh, it's movable, it's possible, as it uh, as it said in the um, in, on the box. You know, bends the knee, bends the ankle there, and very twisted. These feet are incredibly twisted. Like they have just rotated so many times while I was opening her up. It's incredible. I now think I also I figured out what the extra features are. The extra bits. So, these ones come off. I think this one comes off too because it's made like that. But uh, 
it's a bit tight and I, I don't want to take it off if I risk not getting it back on again. Um, and as a plus feature, Giga Mac dimples, right? Made to put on to Bo's shoulder. It uh, comes off from the stand, so that's probably an extra feature, isn't it? Yeah. I don't really have much to say. Like, it's a good toy. But, uh, you know, it's, um, it's a bit, I don't know, like, just the hassle of opening it has just taken a lot of the magic away from it for me. If you're a kid who got this and your parent opened it for you, well, of course, you just got a toy. It's epic. It's a very good toy. Like, I don't, I, I have nothing against the, the toy, the figure it, itself. It's... It is really good. I don't really like the hair because of the whole combing part. Like it's um, tied it back here with a little elastic band. I'm not gonna open that up because I literally, why would I? That's not Bo Peep. Bo Peep has hair like this. So if I could get sort of, wow, that's a, really didn't realize that there was that much of a size difference. Because I really want sort of this this head on this body and I would have like a perfect Bo Peep figure. You know, that or like the Twister Collection version obviously, but you know, you know how it is. Like how big are their heads in comparison? It's it's a slightly bigger head, so it wouldn't really fit anyways if I tried to just sort of uh, do like Sid and change the heads. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change her into Bo Peep from the first two Toy Stories and uh, We'll, we'll just see how that goes. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I do like her a lot better as this Bo Peep. It just looks, I don't know why. It just, just this just works more for me. It might be nostalgia speaking, obviously. This is how I'm used to seeing Bo Peep, but it just really works. I couldn't get that off. I took the other one off, but um, it was too tight and I'm afraid I won't get it back on again. Um. It wasn't very hard to get it, get sort of the outfit on. It was a little bit of a hassle to, to get it on. It's, it's, it's seeming a little bit sort of askew here, but uh, I don't think that's a big deal. You can, if you're playing with it, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, because of how it was packaged, like this bit flap here was sort of uh, tied together th like that in the box. It doesn't really want to fold that way properly when you have it as the dress. That'll probably come around eventually. But overall, I, I really like this. And the possibility of it is brilliant. I uh, don't really care about this. Even though the hair looks pretty good now, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but overall, it's a pretty good toy. Um, and of course, I, I don't think I mentioned that. If you take her uh, skirt off here that of course is flippable and to become her cape we can just put her cape on real quick just do that it's all velcro yeah so the velcro tip there go just goes onto the velcro velcro tip there and there you go she has her she has a little cape on and that's super easy to change, like there's not, it's just, you just flip it. It's the same but two Velcro bits, so the Velcro might of course wear out over time. But you know, it's pretty, relatively easy to just change the Velcro if you have to. So, so it's, that's not that big of a deal. Um, but you know, it's not bad. Like I thought, I always thought this was going to be a good toy. But um Seeing how flimsy the feet were when I opened it, I started to sort of have doubts of sort of how, how good it was gonna sort of be in the terms of possibility. But she has surprisingly uh, tight joints everywhere else, so she will hold a position. But I remember when, back on the box when it said she won't stand. It, it's kind of true, like I, I haven't gotten her to sort of stand up by herself because of her weak ankle joints. So, sort of when I lean her towards a wall, she'll stand. 
Actually, I think she might be standing on herself right now, or might now it's the hair touching the wolf. So, so that's not very fun, but you know, if you're playing with her, you're probably holding her and sort of playing with her anyway, so I don't think that's too big of a problem. But for display reasons, <laughs> it's not great. We'd have to get a stand or put her towards the wall every time just to make her stand properly. And Giggle McDimples, I dropped her on the floor. And of course, Giggle McDimples just fits snugly onto her, um, onto Bo's shoulder like that. Very nice, it's a very tight clip as well. Uh, it was a little bit of a struggle to put it on even uh, with the fabric. It's not nothing if you put it on the plastic, but on the fabric it was a little bit, so it won't fall off. Of course, Giggle might fall off, it's not the best uh, fit in there, but uh, you know. She'll stay there if you if you don't sort of mess around with it too much. The rest of it is surprisingly good. Everything is Velcro. I, think I mentioned the Velcro. It's, this is also Velcro on the on the dress bit. Very good Velcro as well. This doesn't really feel the hooks, but uh, it it sticks pretty well. This one is plastic, so you know. I don't really know what to say. I am I, I expected this to be good. But I am surprisingly, like, positively surprised of how good it actually is. This is a great toy for kids. It's, um, it's to scale with, uh, I don't know, actually, let me get my woody. I don't think it's scaled to my woody, but I'll, I'll check. So here we have my, um, Toy Story and Beyond woody. Uh, because I don't have a Toy Story collection one. And, uh, actually... They might be pretty good in scale. I think. I think she's supposed to be a little bit taller. Um, give me another second. So if you check the movie cover, uh, her head sort of ends where his eyes are. So this one is a little bit small for an accurate size. I'm gonna check with the uh, the other bulky. Sorry for all the background noise. Of course, you, you're not able to see that. <laughs> Just give me a second. There we go. So she's a little bit too tall again. And I think this Woody is sort of roughly the same size as the um, Toy Story Collection one. Don't quote me on that because I'm not sure because I don't have a Toy Story Collection Woody. I want one. But I don't have one. Because the ones available in Norway are usually the ones that speak Norwegian and I don't really want that one, but at some point I just might have to take it, right? Yeah. Why am I still talking? This video is probably over by now. And uh Yeah, it's a good toy. If you can get it for I think I got mine for about fifteen pounds. Might have been 17 or 20 maybe but if you can get it for that price i would definitely recommend it because it's great uh you, if you like toy story 1 and 2 bow it's great if you like toy story 4 bow it's great it's just a great toy i don't like the hair but i understand why it's there because of you know it's, it's a whole it's an extra mechanic i suppose something more for the kids to do it's not movie accurate at all but it's something, right? It's a play feature. It is what it is. But you know what? Until next time, see ya.